Good morning, America. Welcome to Independent Thought with Lorenzo Reed. Well, my independent thought today is loyalty. And it's the loyalty of our politicians and the loyalty of the American people. Now, I call into question the loyalty of our politicians because we just finished Tax Day in America. Now, in regards to Tax Day in America, there is a huge disconnect between our politicians and the American people. You see, a bill was written by a representative in Georgia about a great tax plan that would be beneficial not only to the government but to each individual American family. That would put more money in the American family's pocket, that would put more money in the government pocket. And of course there are proponents against it who say that it will be a huge disaster. But there are proponents against everything that ever could come up. But why are there proponents when they haven't even read the program? Why are there people in Congress who have had the opportunity to read a program, read a bill, but they choose not to do so. It's because of their loyalties. You see, if a person is a Democrat, then they're loyal to the Democratic Party. If a person is a Republican, they're loyal to the Republican Party. There is the problem. Because if you're an elected official of the United States, then your loyalty should first lie within the United States and not your particular party. The tax program that I'm speaking of is called the Fair Tax. It's one that I personally support. The Fair Tax is a much better program than the current one we have now, but am I saying that it is perfect? No. There will still be loopholes and ways that people can work themselves around it, but it is still better than the one we currently have, and it gives power back to the people. But yet our politicians will continuously ignore this program simply because it was written by a Republican. This is where there is no loyalty within this country. Because our loyalty should be to the people of this country, to the betterment of this country, to the well-being of America, to every American citizen and those who will become American citizens because they haven't been born yet. We need to be thinking about them. But our politicians will give you sound bites and great things that they want to say, create bigger government, spend money on all other types of programs instead of fixing the ones we currently have or making them better. Why? Because their loyalties are misplaced. You see, when the Congress had asked George Washington to run for yet another term, he decided that he wouldn't because he didn't want to become a dictator over this country. He wanted to go home because he had served his time, to, time serving his country. Our politicians have lost that idea. When the Constitution was written, the idea was for our politicians to be a temporary, to have temporary jobs, that they would work for the country and then go back home and work as a private citizen. But today we have the professional politician. And the reason we have that professional politician is because their loyalty is now to themselves and their party instead of being a loyalty towards the country. But what they are missing is that if their loyalty was towards this country, then they will probably maintain their status as a politician. But they are so caught up with ensuring that they receive your vote that they want to tell you anything that you want to hear. They're so caught up in ensuring they receive the contributions that they're listening to the words of the special interest group instead of, instead of listening to the heartbeat of America. That is my challenge to every politician out there and every American. As an American, you must vote. Your vote determines who's going to be there. If they are not loyal to this country, then vote them out. As a politician, if you're not loyal to this country, you should be voted out or you should quit. Now, I know me saying this, just as with Joe Plummer, means that criticism may come my way. And there is another disconnect. Just because an American poses a question or a statement to our politicians, we attack the character of the person? We saw this in the pre previous election. Joe Plummer asked a question. It was a valid question. Instead of answering the question, his character, his history, his life was challenged. He was discredited, or tried to be dis they tried to discredit him. He's an American citizen asking an American question. I'm an American citizen asking an American question. My history is not clean. I've made mistakes. I've served my country in the Marine Corps. So find what you may. But remember the question. And the question is, where is the loyalty of our politicians to the American people? And where is the loyalty of the American people taking the responsibility to vote in and vote out those who do not have the best interest of America at heart. Doesn't matter if they're Republican, Democrat, Green Party, any party. If a person's loyalty is towards the American people, 
that's who we should have in office. Again, this is Lorenzo Reed, Independent Thought, something we all must have.